I think I'm going to try to do these story behind the story stories every Monday. So last time I think we talked, I showed you the picture of Michael Ealy and I like this. And I, if you recall, I told you the story about the Think Like a Man male cast. I was supposed to interview Michael Ealy, but he had to be switched out for Romney Malco. So it was Romney Malco, Will Packer, and Terrence J. So I don't know how much time went between that interview and the next interview, but I think it was right around the time of the movie, The Perfect Guy. He had a strong self-assuredness even in a building that he had never been to. This was his first time being in the building and he was walking around like he knew where he was going. And he was much taller than I thought. Most actors or actresses that I've met are small people, short people. So they're kind of like my height. I'm about, I'm 5'3". So they're, no, they're normally not taller than me. And I think he was like 6'3", 6'2", 6'4", somewhere in there. He's tall. And he comes to the set... Um, I receive him. He's in the newsroom and his assistant who was with him was putting something on his hands and me being how I am. I was like, well, what is that you're putting on his hand? She said it was cuticle oil. And I was like, I want some cuticle oil. And so she put the cuticle oil on him. She put the cuticle oil on me. And then I said, hey, are you ready to go to set? He was like, of course. He just started walking. And I was like, have you been here before? Do you know what the set is? And he was like, no. And I was like, you have the most affirmed walk and personality for not knowing where you're going. And this being the first time you've been here. So we go to the set. We do this great interview. I will honestly admit that uh, it took me a minute to get my groove because I'm the kind of person, whether I'm excited or not, blissfully, you would never really know it. Um, always been that way. So with him, I was like that insight, but I was acting like. So by the third or fourth question, I realized I was, I was back in my own body, enjoying the interview, realizing that I had gotten over the whole Michael Ely thing and we were just having a conversation. Um, I can't remember if it was Michael or me. Well, we because he kept referring to his hands like this during the interview. So it might have been him. I don't know. Both of us agreed upon taking a picture together doing this and um, no one would have an idea about what that meant. But he and I knew that the whole story behind that story was we both got cuticle oil before the interview from his assistant. That's the story behind the story story.